Hi guys, my name's Danny and welcome to LMB. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a one pan breakfast, three different ways. So for our first recipe, it's gonna be the one pan fry up. You're gonna need the following ingredients. Tomatoes, mushrooms, spring onion, good local sausages, some pancetta, seasoning, butter, and olive oil. And the full recipe is in the description below. How we're gonna start guys, we're gonna grab one of our sausages. So this is a Toulouse sausage, you can use any sausage really that you like. What we're gonna do, we're gonna butterfly the sausage, just to open it up. Basically when we cook that there, it's gonna cook a lot quicker. So for this obviously video, I'm gonna use one sausage, that's for one person. You can obviously add another one if it's for two. I've heated the pan up onto a medium heat. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna sear the sausages off both sides. We're then gonna add the smoked streaky bacon in afterwards. Sausage in. So we'll leave that for about 30 seconds. We're then gonna add our pancetta in. Two rashes again for this. I'm just gonna turn shot sausages over. I'm then gonna put in our tomatoes. So again, one tomato, cut in half. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna chuck our mushrooms in. So I've gone for about three mushrooms, because I like mushrooms. And then what we're gonna do now, touch of seasoning, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, teaspoon of butter, just in there. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna get the tomato, we're gonna flip it. So basically, this is a show side. Also gonna season the top again, so top of the tomatoes, and a touch of pepper as well. A couple of eggs, two for one person, it's absolutely fine. Crack them straight into the pan. And what I wanna do, literally just gonna move the egg slightly, so the white just covers the pan. Turn the heat down slightly and let it cook for about two minutes. And then we're gonna put it into the oven for about four minutes at 180. So once we've taken it out of the oven, we're gonna plate up. Got a nice plate there. Be careful, obviously the pan's really hot. Just gonna get a fish slice here. Tip it at a slight angle and pull it out. Just like that. Um, I like to pimp mine up a little bit. We're gonna use spring onions, catch it over the top. Gives it a nice little bite to the dish. Little bit of the chili chop sauce. Little drizzle of olive oil. Nice bit of fresh coriander. Just season the eggs again, just on the yolks. And there you have it. Your one pan fry up, perfect for after a heavy night. And for our second recipe, I'm gonna be making you migas, a traditional Mexican breakfast with my own little twist to it. This dish is great because it can use up loads of little bits in your cupboard or in your fridge as well. So the ingredients you'll need for this dish, five eggs, about 80 grams of cheese, tortilla chips, chives, spring onion, red pepper, mushrooms, and some jalapenos. Also need some seasoning and some olive oil. This breakfast dish is vegetarian, but you could obviously add meat to it. So anything that you find in your fridge again, like bacon, sausages, or even burgers. First of all, you're gonna to need to put your pan onto a medium heat. You're gonna chuck about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. Then gonna get a handful of your tortilla chips. You're gonna break them up slightly into the pan. All we want to do now is slightly toast the tortilla chips. Whilst we're doing that, we're gonna add our cheese. Again, you can use anything that you find in your fridge. Let's just give that a little mix. Right, after a couple of minutes, your tortilla chips will be nicely toasted. What we're gonna do, we're gonna chuck in our mushrooms now. We're gonna chuck in our peppers as well. So what we're then gonna do is pour a bit of our egg and cheese mix in. Okay, once that's all gone into the pan, give it a little bit of a stir. Gently fold in the cheese and the eggs. All you wanna do is slightly cover the base, okay? Not overcooking the eggs as well. Cool, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna pop that into the oven at 180 degrees for about two minutes. So when that's come out of the oven, we're gonna leave it here off the heat for about two minutes. In between that time, we're gonna knock up a little cherry tomato salsa. She's got three cherry tomatoes here. Slice them in two quarters. Just chuck our little cherry tomatoes into the bowl. Gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. Give that just a little mix. Now it's time to plate up. Still gonna be hot the pan. Gently scrape around the edge there. And it should fall nicely onto the plate. What we're then gonna do, garnish it with a couple of little different things. So we'll grab the cherry tomatoes, scatter them around. Our jalapenos, let's just scatter them around the dish, adding a nice little bit of sweetness, a little bit of heat as well. Then our spring onions, doesn't have to look too neat. Touch of chives, nice pinch of salt and pepper. A little bit of olive oil, coriander, to add a bit of freshness. And there you have it. 
Amigas. Our third and final recipe is French toast with caramelized bananas. The ingredients you're gonna need, bananas, eggs, bread, got a little bit of ice cream here, date molasses, agave, butter, milk, pecans, ground cinnamon, vanilla, and an orange. You'll find all three recipes in the description below. What we wanna do, we wanna start with making our egg mix. So we're gonna soak our bread in basically. Four eggs, crack them straight into a bowl. 75 milliliters of milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then we're gonna give that a good mix. Once that's been mixed well, we're gonna get a slice of our bread and then we'll soak it in there for about a minute on each side. Flip the bread over slightly so it can soak on the other side. Whilst the bread is soaking in the egg mix, we're gonna turn our pan on here to a medium heat. We're gonna add two teaspoons of butter. All we want that to do is just melt slowly all around the pan. Once the butter's melted, you wanna put our soaked bread into the pan. Take it out carefully. And we'll leave it on there for about a minute. What I'm gonna do now is flip it over. And as you see there, it's got a nice little golden color onto there. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna put it into the oven for about four minutes. Right, that's come out of the oven. We're gonna plate that up straight away and then crack on with our bananas. Give the pan a little bit of a wipe out as well. One banana per portion is absolutely fine. These are really large bananas, so you'll actually probably only need half. Slice the banana right through the middle. So using the same pan, get our bananas. And we're gonna let them cook down for about a minute or so on each side. And I'm gonna flip our bananas, get a nice color on the other side as well. And then we're gonna add our agave syrup into there. You wanna make sure that basically it's on a low heat, just slowly bubbling away there. And then I'm gonna get our orange, cut it in half. As soon as you see the agave start to thicken up, add a little bit of the orange into there basically. A handful of chopped pecans, straight in. We'll toss it through the agave syrup again. Once the bananas are slightly softened, we're gonna start baking up. French toast, straight in front of us. Caramelized bananas and pecans onto there. We're then gonna finish it with a little bit of the date molasses. So we're just gonna grab our little tub of ice cream, nice little dollop on top. And then finally finish with a little bit of icing sugar. So there we have it, your third and final one pan breakfast French toast with caramelized bananas. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below.